Abundance in Natural Systems. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 534. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our June 18th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. And today I want to talk about abundance in natural systems, specifically engineering abundance in natural systems, because if you're somebody who watches these videos or somebody that's just paying attention, the likelihood is very high that you already recognize that humanity is really engineering the opposite of abundance in natural systems. We are destroying systems, natural systems globally so f quickly that many people are referring to it, and many scientists are referring to it as an extinction level event. And the research and the study and the scientific community in general, what they're saying about how quickly we need to turn this around is pretty darn grim. You know, and so why haven't we turned it around? Well, it seems that there hasn't been enough interest yet. You know, if there were enough interest, then there'd be enough money and that this would already be like, we'd already be addressing this globally in a way that was working. And yet we're continuing to go down the wrong path. Like we're still traveling in a trajectory that has pretty grim and dire outcomes, even though we have this amazing ability right now, like even though we already have the technology, we already have the knowledge, we already have the resources, we already have the capability to simultaneously address all the greatest challenges that humanity is facing right now. Like we produce enough food to feed all the people on the planet. We obviously could address homelessness for everybody on the planet. There's enough empty homes in the United States to address homelessness right now in the United States. You know, we have the ability to address the greatest challenges that we're dealing dealing with right now. You know, in uh, social injustice and inequality, lack of education, lack of education, you know, food insecurity, um, lack of internet access, lack of energy infrastructure, health, war, poverty, all of these different things. We have the resources right now to address these things and to create a world that works for everybody, and yet we haven't. Why? not you know and so what we one community believes is the reason we haven't addressed these things is because the path to addressing them hasn't been made clear enough and beneficial enough on the individual level that a grassroots movement of people creating positive global change for selfish reasons hasn't happened yet and I say for selfish reasons, it's like if it has to, if it's, a, it's currently, I think that sustainability in general is seen as a gigantic sacrifice. And so one community wants to show that abundance in natural systems and engineering abundance in natural systems means creating a world that works for everybody by providing a way of living that most people will consider to be far superior and far better than the way that they're living right now. And the way that we're doing that is everything you see happening in the background of this video right now. And so much more than that. You know, we are looking at all the different foundations of sustainability, the physical foundations of sustainability and the emotional foundations of sustainability. And we're putting these together as an evolution of sustainability to show that abundance in natural systems can be accomplished by addressing all these things and putting them simultaneously together, putting them together and showing how they work not only symbiotically, but as, as an interdependent system that when engineered intelligently, and with the intent to provide radical sustainability as a foundation for a better way of living that will benefit people on the individual level, on the community level, on the local level, on the national level, and on the global level, that we have the ability to, to produce a way of living that is almost impossible really to buy. 
Like right now, if you consider, we have the ability to grow local food that's not sprayed with pesticides, herbicides, or fungicides. It's more nutritious. It tastes better. But most people don't even realize that this is a thing. You know, people are buying organic, but they don't even realize how far their organic food is traveling and what's possible with better growing methods like permaculture, biodynamic farming, polycultures, things of that nature, as an example. You know, most people uh, see, if you look at a global perspective, the concept of renewable energy as a, as a global model for providing energy is still so far outside of our reality and yet the technology already exists we're moving quickly in this direction but it's only one piece of the puzzle what about sustainable housing and building housing that's not built with materials that cause cancer toxic materials you know environmentally destructive materials what about that? You know, and so we have the ability to do this. We have the ability to do all these things. And these are just the physical foundations of sustainability. What about the emotional foundations of sustainability that are a part of the abundant process as well? Like natural systems include humanity. These physical foundations are needed for our survival. But what about these natural systems aspects of our lives so what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living highest good approaches to education economic models and stewardship models for all of it what about these natural systems that are foundational to our happiness and our abundance as well one community thinks that they're possibly even more important than these foundations you know but you need the without these foundations how can you focus on any of these and so our idea is to provide all of this together as our gift to humanity, as our gift to ourselves. When I talk about selfish philanthropy, selfish humanitarianism, our idea is to provide a way of living that is so much better than the way that people are living right now and to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and show how attractive it is to live this way so that the idea will spread on its own. And so bringing together people with, with people with shared values and interests, and in our case, those shared values and interests are world change, creating a world that works for everybody within our lifetime, demonstrating radical sustainability, and living this, this abundant lifestyle and showing what's possible with it and teaching other people how to do it around the world so that we can create a self-replicating model of teacher demonstration hubs, one community being the first, designed to teach other people how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well. And spread these teacher demonstration hubs around the world to create a global cooperative a global collaborative of these hubs working together to create a better world for everybody so that we can reach that tipping point of participation so that we are positively impacting the lives of every person and thing on this planet and achieve the goal of a sustainable civilization. This is our idea of engineering abundance in natural systems. It's, about, it's recognizing that we are a part of the natural system, not just a part of the natural system, but we are the keystone species capable the only species capable of truly stewarding these natural systems and creating what's possible on this planet. And so that's a lot of responsibility. And we want to make that process as easy as possible, as affordable as possible, and to show the benefits for people on the individual level of doing this so that people want to get involved for their own benefits, for the benefits of their family, for the benefits of their friends, etc. And we're open sourcing and free sharing it all as the complete model, but also as individual components so we can provide something for everybody. So for people that aren't interested in world change, they just want to grow themselves some healthier food, better tasting food, or maybe they want to build a house that's healthier for them and their, for, their, for their families or cheaper, it's going to last longer, then we're providing that as well. And we see all of that as a step in the right direction. But it's the global cooperative and collaborative of teacher demonstration hubs working together to evolve all this, open source and free share all this, and even more of this that's really going to make the difference. And so this is our idea of engineering abundance in natural systems. It's about recognizing the natural system has the food, the energy, the housing. It includes fulfilled living models. It includes an open source education model, both for-profit, non-profit, and resource-based economy models, as well as stewarding it all as the complete natural system that we are meant that is like our right, our God-given right to live within a model of abundance like that that benefits not only us and everybody around us, but the entire planet. Like this is what we're capable of. And so let's embrace that.
So this is where we're up to. If you'd like to see the specifics of what our all-volunteer team has accomplished, there's been over 800 of us now that have worked on this. Uh, visit our weekly progress update blog. If you would like to see the specifics of all of our open source content, visit our website. If you'd like to see some bullet points on the major components of our project, stick around for another couple minutes. Of course, if you'd like the easiest way to support us, like, subscribe, subscribe to our newsletter if you'd like a weekly dose of positivity in your inbox. And uh, yeah, till next week, we will, of course, Keep on engineering abundance in natural systems one component at a time while simultaneously working on all of them to create a way of living that most people will consider to be far superior, far better than the way they're living right now. We have the ability to do this. So till next week, we'll keep on keeping on. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Thank you.